Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an interesting exponential equation. Exponential equations are fun to solve and this is actually a really good one. Because we have two different bases and different exponents, sort of. So, let's go ahead and solve this problem. I'm pretty sure some of you, maybe most of you, maybe all of you, already guessed one of the solutions. But we're going to do a systematic solution here. Let's go ahead and get started. So, I'm going to take the natural log of both sides because we have variables in the exponent. So, let's go ahead and do the natural log, which is ln. Now, we're going to be using properties of logs. One of them is the product property, which can be written as basically log AB equals log A plus log B where uh, this log can be in any base. You can change the base, but they all have to be the same base. Or uh, we have a power property which says if you have something like log a to the n, you can move this n to the front, which uh, you can write as n times log a. So these properties, of course, there's more, like change of base and so on and so forth, but they're very helpful in solving these kinds of equations. This is not a logarithmic equation, but we're using logarithms to solve it specifically the natural log. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this and separate them into a sum first. So I'll write it as ln 3 to the x plus ln 7 to the x squared equals ln 21. ln is the natural log, short for log natural. So ln 21 is a number. You don't have to worry about the exact value because ln 21 is the exact value. There is no uh, more exact value. If you use a calculator, you're going to find an approximate value for it. All right, so let's go ahead and use the pro uh, power property next. So we're going to go ahead and move these to the front, the exponents, and write this as x times ln 3 plus x squared times ln 7. I hope you don't mind when I don't write the multiplication symbol. If you want, you can write it. If you put a dot like this and like this, that's going to mean multiplication. Even if you don't write it, it means multiplication because it's understood. So when we write something like 5x, it just means 5 times x. But of course, when you write it x5, it's a little different. So that's why we want to write the coefficient, the number first. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and write this as a quadratic equation because it is a quadratic equation. It's quadratic in x. So to emphasize the coefficients, I'm going to write it like this, ln 7 times x squared plus ln 3 times x. And then I'm going to go ahead and subtract ln 21 from both sides to make this a full quadratic. Now, if you kind of, you know, think about what the general quadratic uh, equation looks like, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. And we do have a formula for it, which we're going to talk about. So here, this is going to be a, this is going to be a b, and uh, with the negative sign, this is going to be our constant c. Okay, so what is the quadratic formula? The quadratic formula is negative b plus minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. It's awesome. We have a cubic formula, we have a quartic formula, unfortunately, nothing starting with the quintic. Okay, so b squared minus 4ac plays an important role in this equation, and it's called the discriminant because it kind of discriminates between the types of and, you know, uh, solutions. So we call it delta. Uh, so delta equals b squared minus 4ac. And this actually gives us a more compact version of the quadratic formula, which a lot of people use to memorize. Negative b plus minus the square root of delta divided by 2a. That looks like a triangle, but it's actually the Greek letter delta, the uppercase delta. The lowercase delta, if I'm not wrong, it looks like this, which is kind of weird because it doesn't look like a triangle, right? Well, it sort of does. If you squish it, maybe you can turn it into a triangle. Anyways, it's just Greek letters, okay? So, what do we do? This is our formula, and we're going to evaluate the discriminant separately. I want to do the delta first because I don't want to keep writing this complicated expression every time. It saves time if we to find the delta first. So, delta is going to be b squared minus 4ac. So, that's going to be 
ln 3 squared minus 4 times a, which is ln 7, times c, which is negative ln 21. But when I put the minus sign, the negative is going to negate the negative, and it's going to turn into a positive, so I can write it like this. Awesome. Now we're going to make it awesomer by uh, expanding this uh, into ln 7 times 3, which can be written as ln 7 plus ln 3. Remember the product rule? So it's going to be helpful. So let's do it. And obviously, um, I'll show you another uh, alternative approach for finding one of the solutions, which is very easy to do. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and distribute ln 3 squared. I'm not going to do anything about it yet. This is ln 7. And now, if you distribute, you're going to get ln 7 squared plus 4 ln 7 multiplied by ln 3. Awesome. Now, why is this awesome? Because this is a perfect square. And when you get a perfect square discriminant, it's actually really awesome. So, what is this? It is ln 3 plus 2 ln 7 quantity squared. And when you square root the discriminant, you're just going to get uh, the expression without the square. So, let's go ahead and write the solutions based on this, negative b. And remember, b was what? ln 3, so that's going to be negative ln 3, plus minus the square root of this, which is actually going to be the same thing without the square, so it's going to be ln 3 plus 2 ln 7, but don't worry, I'm going to use parentheses, so they don't mix, we don't lose any roots, and that's going to be divided by 2a, which is going to be 2 ln 7. Now let's go ahead and separate this into two cases, right? With the plus sign first, negative ln 3 plus ln 3 plus 2 ln 7. You get the idea. Something is going to cancel out. Divide by 2 ln 7. And the other solution is going to be x equals negative ln 3 minus ln 3 minus 2 ln 7. So negative, right? 2 ln 7. Okay. Let's go ahead and simplify the first one first. So ln 3 cancels out. We get 2 ln 7 divided by 2 ln 7, everything cancels out, and we end up with x equals 1. Yes, that was the root that I didn't tell you about. One of the solutions is x equals 1. You probably guessed it at the very beginning, uh, because it's kind of easy to guess that x equals 1 works. But what about the other solution? For the other solution, we're going to uh, manipulate this a little bit. This is negative 2 ln 3 minus 2 ln 7 over 2 ln 7. And now we can take out a negative 2 ln 3 plus ln 7 over 2 ln 7. Oopsies, our ln is weird. And 2 and the 2 cancels out, leaving us a negative sign. But ln 3 plus ln 7 can be written as ln 21, remember? So from here we can write, let's call this x sub 1. x sub 2 can be written as negative ln 21 over ln 7. So we have two solutions because it's quadratic, and they're different because discriminant is not zero. So, isn't there an easier way to do this? Absolutely. Of course, uh, when you got the equation, let's go ahead and take a look at the original equation one more time. It was ln 7x squared plus ln 3 times x minus ln 21 equals zero. So we do know from Vieta's formulas, and we've done quite a few videos on Vieta's formulas. If you remember, check out the uh, playlist. Uh, x sub 1 times x sub 2 is c over a, and that is actually equal to negative ln 21 over ln 7. Now we do know that one of the roots is 1. That gives us the second root automatically, which is the product. So that's a much, uh, much faster way. If you know one of the roots is 1, then finding the other one is fairly easy. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye.